Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to effortlessly create a professional logo for your business, your YouTube channel, your website, or for whatever reason you may desire. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing the Wix Logo Maker, a logo creation platform that allows you to create stunning looking, customizable logos in a short amount of time. This video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so I'll be guiding you every step along the way. And if you want to skip to a specific point in the video, there will be timestamps in the description. And real quick before we begin this video, this video is sponsored by Wix. Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to click the first link in the description to get to this page right here. After you click on the link, you should land on a page similar to this one. And first things first, we're going to want to click on Get It Now. Alright, so you're going to want to choose between creating a logo for yourself or hiring a professional designer. Of course, you can choose either one of these, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a logo myself. So I'm going to click on this button right here. And of course, before we create our logo, we're going to want to sign up. If you already have an account, you can log in right here. If not, click on Sign Up. Alright, so once you're logged into your account, you should land on a page like this. Here is where the designing process begins. Here, you can enter your name of your business, your website, your YouTube channel, basically the name of whatever you're creating your logo for. For me, I'm going to put in Frozen Fractal, the name of my YouTube channel. But of course, you can also put in the name of your business, or whatever you want. You are also able to add in a tagline. For the tutorial, I am going to be adding in a tagline, but I might remove it later. Depends on how it looks. Once you've filled in these two boxes, click on Let's Go. Next, you're going to want to select what your logo is going to be for. As you can see, Wix has a lot of different options to choose from. Basically, you're just going to want to choose the option that best fits your business, or in my case, YouTube channel. I think this best fits my content, so now that I'm done, I'm going to click on Next. Next, you're going to want to select how you want your logo to feel. You can choose between a number of different adjectives such as techy, dynamic, fun, timeless, whatever you want your logo to feel like. For me, I'm going to choose techy, modern, and dynamic. But of course, it's all up to you. To get to the next page, I'm going to click on next. Here you get to choose between two different logos, and then Wix will generate a logo similar to the options that you selected. And finally, you're going to want to choose what you're going to want to use your logo for. Maybe you want to use your logo to customize a website, or maybe you want to print some business cards, ship some merchandise, or use it for social media purposes. For me, I'm going to click on Website and Social Media, as I think these best fit what my channel is going for. And finally, I'm going to click on Next. Alright, as you can see, Wix has now generated several different logos for me to choose from. Optionally, you can also change your name and tagline. I really like the look and feel of this one right here, so I'm going to select it and click on Customize. Now this is where the fun really begins. Of course, Wix doesn't just give you a logo and doesn't offer any sort of customization. In fact, there are lots of different ways in which we can change this logo to suit our needs. On the top, we have a palette. Basically, you can change the color of your logo. Alright, so I think Spring Breeze would fit the best with my logo that I have right here. I think the orange here really complements the bluish color. Once you're done selecting your color, you can move on to Text. Here, you can add and customize text for your logo. Personally, I don't really like the look and feel of the font that I have on my Frozen Fractal text, 
So I'm going to click on Customize to change it. Alright, so in order to change the font, we're going to want to go to Font and Change Font. And then we can select from hundreds and hundreds of different fonts provided by Wix. For now, I'm going to stick to this one right here. Personally, I'm going to delete the YouTube Tutorials text as I think it takes away from the simplicity of the logo. To do this, I'm simply going to select it and then either hit the delete key or click on the trash can up here. Next, we have icons. Here is where you can really customize your logo and make it your own. Of course, I already have my left brain, half brain sort of image going on here, but I can also add more icons. I really like the look and feel of this icon right here, and I think it could add a whole lot to our logo. So I'm going to click on it, and then it will appear right here. To resize it, simply click and drag on the corners right here. Then I'm going to reposition it towards the middle. To change the color of the logo, I'm going to click on the icon, select color, and then change it right here. Either selecting from colors that are already in our logo, or making your own. I'm going to go for a slightly lighter tone of orange. After changing all of this about our logo, I think the frozen fractal doesn't look as well underneath it like it used to. So, I want to change its position. So, what I'm going to do is zoom out by holding control and then scrolling out with the mouse scroller. Next, I'm going to move my whole logo over to the left. To do this, simply hold and drag your mouse key over your entire logo to select every piece of it. Then, you can easily drag it to the left side. Next, I'm going to click on my frozen fractal text and drag it up to the right. Then I'm going to change its alignment to left and then move the fractal part of my text to the bottom by going to edit text and then clicking enter. Then I'm going to resize the text either by dragging in the corner or by changing the text size directly in the editor. Personally, I think the whole logo would look a lot better if I changed the color of the frozen fractal text. To do this, Click on the text, and then go to text color, and then select a different color. I'm going to go with orange. And finally, I want to change the font of the text to something that fits more with the logo. Go to font, and click on change font. And last but not least, I want to change the letter spacing for the text. To do this, click on your text, scroll down to letter spacing, and simply increase it. On the left, the next category we have are shapes. Here, you can add and manage your shapes. To add a shape, simply click on Add Shape, and then you can select between a square and a circle. Alone, these seem rather simplistic. However, when you incorporate them into your logos, it really makes them seem more professional. For me, I'm going to add a square, move my text over slightly, and resize the square like so. And then I'm going to change the color of the square to something that fits more with my logo. And the second to last spot are uploads. Here you can upload your own images into your logo by simply clicking on upload image and then clicking on upload media. Then you can select if you want to upload from your computer or from Wix or Facebook or Instagram or any other external source. Generally, you're going to want to upload from your computer though. And last but not least, you have background. Here, you can simply change the color of your background. Now, I think my logo is pretty much done. By the way, if you click on the right arrow, you can see your logo in different circumstances, such as on a website, on an Instagram page, or on business cards. Basically, whatever you selected before you start to create your logo. When you're done customizing your logo, you're going to want to go to the top right and click on Next. If you want, you can even create a website that is built around your logo immediately after creating your logo. If you want to do this, simply click on Get My Logo plus this website. 
but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be getting the logo. However, this is also a very good option if you want to save on time. For now, just click on I just need a logo. Here, you can select your logo plan. You can choose from basic or advanced. Before purchasing your plan, you can of course also download a free sample on the bottom here. If you're going to choose basic, you'll get full commercial usage rights and standard logo files, which are always high resolution. If you go with advanced, you'll also get resizable logo files, meaning SVG, and also social media logo files, which will basically come in a folder with dedicated files for each social media platform. If you're just creating a logo for a YouTube channel or for a simple website, I'd suggest going with basic. However, if you're a large company who wants to use their logo for a lot of different platforms, I definitely suggest going with advanced as it provides resizable logos and also logos dedicated for different platforms. After completing your payment plan, you'll land on a page similar to this one. Here, you can download your logo files, edit a website, and share your logo. To download your logo files, simply click on Download. The files will be downloaded in a zip folder. If it doesn't look exactly like this, don't worry. Simply right-click on it, click on Open With, and then click on Windows Explorer. If you went with the Advanced plan, you'll have four folders just like this. If you went with the Basic plan, you will only have a single folder which contains your logos. This folder contains different versions of your logo, such as monochrome on transparent, white on black, white on transparent, and much more. Of course, you also have original on transparent, and the original with the background color. If you went with the advanced plan, you also have social media logo files, which have different logos depending on the site, such as Android, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and much more. And if you went with the advanced package, you of course also receive your resizable vector files, which are just SVG files. Also, if you want to extract all of your files to your desktop, simply right-click your file and click on Extract Files here. The files will then appear on your desktop. And as an example, I created a YouTube channel and added the cover photo and profile picture that Wix provides in their advanced package. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I truly do hope you enjoyed the video and also learned something new along the way. Once again, if you want to create your very own Wix logo, simply click on the first link in the description. Alright guys, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye